uh, Trick said it. Trick said it the best. He said, there is no liberty, no unity, and there will never be. No, not in America. I mean, they call it the land of the free, the home of the brave, the land of the blessed. But, I mean, and we blessed. We blessed to be on the, you know what I'm saying, healthy, of healthy body and spirit. But this America that we live in, this government that don't operate in the best interest of its people, man. You know, it, it's, it's wild. It's wild where we at. And I, this, this is a crazy story right here. First off, first off, thank you for tuning in. Welcome to the Chieftain Network. This is Ocean. Like, subscribe, share my video. As soon as you come in the room, I very much would appreciate that. Help your boy break the algorithm. Help me get up in that guy one time, one time for your mind. Now we got this story of a 94-year-old woman that's arrested for not paying her nursing home rent. Now, before we even get into anything of what this article has to say, and it's a short article that I'm just going to read and react type, but I feel like in America that is supposed to be the, the wealthiest country and the most blessed country in the land of the free, if somebody make it to 94, it ain't no way that they should be arrested for not paying rent, bro. That should be taken care of for her some kind of way in some type of action that this old motherfucker, 94, why the fuck she owe somebody rent? But anyway, this shit is crazy, bro. Juanita Fitzgerald, a 94-year-old woman who was arrested at a Florida senior living facility she was arrested four days before her 94th birthday. Ain't that some wild stuff, bro? Four days before your 94th birthday, they say, hey, mama, um, hate to tell you, but we got to take you downtown. We got to take you downtown, mama, and we got to book you, and we got to fingerprint you, and we got to put you back there. So this just what's going on. You didn't pay your rent, so we got to, they locked up. It says, uh, one either was arrested because... She not she did not pay her rent at the time. The rent was one hundred and sixty one dollars. Juanita was also charged with trespassing. So, like I was saying, it, was it is it really worth it, man, to put a ninety four year old woman in jail, man? I mean, I understand that we got to live by rules and regulations, and apparently she signed up for something that say that she owe y'all money. Once a month, but it should be something somewhere in the cards that said that she taken care of. In my in my little humble opinion, she told the police officers that she was not going to leave the facility unless they carry her out. Juanita lived at the facility for eight years before she was evicted. There are forty six residents. At, uh, there are forty six residents at the national national church. Residents, Juanita is no longer Juanita no longer has any of her possessions. She is afraid that she will never get any of her belongings back. And I'm afraid for her that she'll never get any, any of her stuff back. Because if they put her out, if I know anything about eviction, when they put your stuff out, they don't put it nowhere nice and neat so you can come back and pick it up. They drop your shit in the trash can, they give it to niggas walking up and down the street, all kind of stuff. So if I know anything about her eviction, she ain't getting none of her stuff back. That's over with. Juanita said that she does not have anybody. All of her family lives in Tennessee. She also told her family uh, to let not to let her son know what was going on. She got cause of that pride, and she don't need she don't want nobody to come say her. She been paying her little one in the six to one every month, and she say she tried to pay them, and they wouldn't take it. So I wonder what's up with that. I mean, what, what did she have? What kind of? How I can't work. I can't understand what's going wrong. Is she tried to pay the people, and they want to take the money from a ninety-four year old lady? So you intentionally went through drastic measures to put her out on the street and to make sure that she get locked up. Call the police on her and say, "Hey, yeah, you had to go take a warrant out on a ninety-four year old." How the hell do you find yourself filling out paperwork 
on a 94 year old lady saying, hey, I need her arrested because she won't pay her rent. That's when you 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 are a wild person for doing that, bro. Reports of her arrest were made all over the all over the country. Many people tried to help the woman. Fortunately, Juanita's bill was only five hundred dollars, and she was able to get out of jail. Juanita was able to get out of jail for her ninety-fourth birthday. The Mid Florida Homeless Coalition stepped in to help her. So that's it. Let me see. Oh no, they put her in a motel when she got out of jail, and they wanted to make sure that uh, she did not end up on the streets. B.E. Thompson is one of the board members and other organizations. He said, "Organization." He said that they are trying to accommodate Juanita as soon as possible. She is refusing to get help from any social service agencies. Karen Karen Twinning is a spokesperson for the National Church Residence. She said that Juanita did not pay her rent because she thought that she would die soon. Juanita offered to get a facility half of her property but they turned it down. She is now getting help from a local resident who decided to set up a GoFundMe for her. Juanita was born and raised in Kentucky, and she has been married twice. <laughs> she got married for the first time at the age of 17. She has two children. Both of them are born from her first marriage. She stated that she has done a lot of living in her 94 years. So... All right, mama, you can't be talking about I'm going to die soon and I ain't. that's why I ain't going to pay the rent. But still, like I said, that shit, she 94, man. Ain't no telling do she even wake up in her right mind every morning, man. Ain't too many 90-something-year people who don't got some touch of dementia or some form of, you know what I'm saying, where they need assistance. They need assistance with life and they need assistance with making good decisions and stuff. So she should be. And I don't guess you can make her do nothing. So maybe she don't. Uh, she seemed like she wanted to stay independent all the way to the end. So, but I don't know. It should be some type of provisions in place for people like this, man. But I don't know. I can't necessarily say that the nursing home wrong. I can't say that the nursing home right. I can't say she right, right or wrong. She could cooperate a little bit better with the situation and what's going on. And the nursing home could be like, hell, she probably is going to die soon. Let her stay another month. Anyway, I'm, that's about all I got for it. Let me know how you feel about this story, man. It's a, it's a wild one. You feel me? Either way it goes, it's a wild one. However you feel, if you agree or disagree, let me know in, 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 the, in the comment section. Also, if you made it this far, drop a 100 in the comment section. I very much would appreciate that. Like, subscribe, share my videos, uh, all that type of good stuff right there. Come back again. We'll do this again. Your boy is out.